Sorry, my phone ran out of space, so I had to delete some stuff to add back. Um, so, all right, where I'm left off is Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. They call it drifting and hypnotic rhythm. This is essentially how the opposition, evil, influence, the matrix, the devil, whatever you want to call it, is able to knock you off your frame, come in, and distort your body, mind, spirit, whatever you want to say, or put you into, um, open you up for influence, let's just say. Keep it really, really simple. So what happens is the music hits you. Boom, boom, boom. The vibration isn't one of these solfeggio tones, and you start wavering. They call it drifting, you start drifting. So now you're, mm, I'm feeling the music, feeling the music, you get really open. Now you're open to suggestion, influence, anything around you. This is where the devil comes in. Sometimes he uses music. Sometimes he uses drugs and alcohol to open you up. He always tries to tempt you. He knows your weakness. He knows everything about you. So if your weakness is music, that's such an easy one to get people with. You know, you, you play their Spotify, you put the songs on, you just put the music in front of them, party, whatever. Same thing is sometimes if your thing is women <clears throat> or men, you know, they'll put attractive women or men in front of you, have them approach you, compliment you, and then boom, it hits you. Now you're in this drift mode. So now other things are able to influence you. Maybe you see a McDonald's commercial. You might go to McDonald's and eat something that you normally wouldn't eat. And then after that, the spiral happens. Maybe they're talking to you and you start gossiping with them. Now that spiral happens. Now you're knocked off your frame. You get it? So now we're drifting. So now you're in the gym. You listen to this music. I'm drifting. Now I start approaching women. Okay? Or I start lusting after attention and looking for validation from people. This is just my experience. It could be any of these things. This is just kind of examples of where it happens in my life. So now after that, maybe sometimes people, uh, I'll look aggressively at people who are looking at me. Instead, I would just brush it off. Now, if they're looking at me, I might stare back or kind of get aggressive with them, you know, because I'm influenced. I'm not in my power, in my center, and just here. Get it? So now the music has really got me drifting. And then when one thing happens and then another, he calls this hypnotic rhythm. Once you're in hypnotic rhythm, it is really tough to get out of this. And that's essentially, I guess you want to call the matrix, um, you know, the material world, you know, like if you want to go there, I'm not living in a fantasy, like all this is reality. I'm just saying like hypnotic rhythm is putting you into a trance like state. So now you're very easily influenced. And if you were woke or mindful or congruent with who you are and being authentic at all times and very very mindful and aware of everything and in your power this wouldn't affect you but now that you're drifting and you're in hypnotic rhythm you're just kind of going with things and now the music hits you and then you're like all right i'll go to dinners and i all right now you're lusting after women or you're engaging in gossip maybe you're texting people you wouldn't Maybe you're liking a lot of pictures on Instagram and wasting time there. Maybe you're off your purpose. And then you start questioning things like, you know, do I really, should I really be doing this gluten-free path and everybody else does this? Should I really not be listening to music? Should I, you know, all these things you start questioning them because you want to fit in with what's vibrating or the mainstream because everyone's doing it and it looks easy and they all look somewhat happy. It's, it's far from the truth, you know, because I've been on both sides. I'm speaking from experience. I've been on the other side, deep on the other side, where unlimited money, partying, girls, drugs, food, whatever you want to use as a vice, you know, the other side isn't glamorous. It isn't that fun. And the conversations are extremely boring. Now I don't get to speak to too many people because the conversations are really, really surface, not clean, not present. And there's like underlying tone and agenda. And the crazy thing is now that I'm so centered, you know, without music wavering me, without gluten and sugar wavering me, drugs, alcohol, all, all, all things, anything. I'm just talking about music for this one because it's an easy way 
for the devil or whoever to get you drifting and then get you into hypnotic rhythm and move you off your power. It's a really easy way to lose it, all right? Everyone thinks you're gaining it and connecting with people, but you're not. You're connecting on a different level and it's not a heartfelt or an honest, authentic level. It kind of moves around. This could be different for other people. I'm sure there's someone that's gonna argue this. This is my experience and what I feel in myself and what I've learned over time is authentic, genuine conversation that's not draining, that's real, that I really need to engage in, all right? So that's kind of where I get the contrast in this and I've seen the good and I see the bad on both sides because the music heavily influences people and it's an easy way in. So that's kind of like part two to that and same thing, it's almost like part two to being blessed by God or the devil and then music addiction, the solfeggio tones and the frequency and how this affects our body. To go a little bit deeper, our DNA, our cells, everything winds off energy and vibration. Our body's made up of 90% water, not 70. We are pretty much all water. So water has memory. Water is influenced. The shape of the water or the snowflake changes with the vibration. So this is happening in your body at all times. So if you're in distortion, disease could potentially happen. The cells are gonna mutate. They're not gonna spin the way they're supposed to, and they're gonna form these crazy shapes. When your cells and um, DNA and, you know, the cells mutate, that's when cancers form and all these other things start happening. If they multiply themselves rapidly, disease spreads rapidly. So if you're continuously listening to music, distorting the cells, you're drinking bad water, tap water essentially, you're filling your cells with mutated water anyway, the cells are getting mutated from the vibration, then you go and eat gluten, sugar, processed foods, that's distorting the cells in your body. Now you stand no chance. Now you're just bleh. It's just a matter of time before the disease kicks in. It's almost a 9,000% guarantee. You're gonna have some kind of illness, sickness, disease later that your body's just tired of fighting. If you're under inflammation all the time, your blood and your cells are gonna kind of try and clean your body up. But if you never give it a rest, it goes into overdrive. It can't keep cleaning the sugar here, the bad cells here, the impure thoughts. And you know, like you can go really deep and you don't have to be a, a, a saint and a monk and all weird. Like I still have a normal life. I go out, I just choose not to engage in certain things. And it's helped me better myself quicker and stay more present and conscious and make much better decisions in my life as opposed to all the other influence, the music, the people, and getting sucked into doing things I normally would not want to do. And it also helped me open up, become more authentic, more vulnerable, more honest, because I have the ability to handle the truth now before I would suppress it with the drugs and alcohol, suppress it with the foods, escape it with the music. You know, now I'm facing all of it and it's all coming to the surface and it's okay, it's tough. Sometimes it sucks and I don't wanna do it or deal with it or I don't know how to and I relapse and I tumble down and I go to old behaviors. It happens, but I get back up and every time I get knocked down, I take a hard look at it and I say, okay, that's where it came from. Usually mine started with the music or sometimes with the food if I eat something a little off. Those are my triggers. Or if I have an inauthentic conversation or if I miss an opportunity to connect with someone because I'm hiding. And when I say hiding, my soul is hiding and I don't wanna connect and I'm, I'm being fearful and living in a state of fear and survival, not honesty and love. So this is all stuff that I've been dealing with and changed over time. But a lot of other things had to change in my life just to get to this point. I had to clean up the fluoride, I had to clean up the diet, I had to eliminate the music and really clean all these things up because it was too strong for me. I'm not strong enough. I'll, I'm just telling you right now, I am not strong enough. I am so easily influenced by women, food, money, a good time, whatever. I was so quick to jump and leave my whole everything for anything but me, all right? 
So what this comes back to is just loving yourself, getting back to yourself. And this made it easier for me to stay myself because when all this stuff would hit and come in front of me, the Instagram, the, the women, the partying, the offers, whatever it might be, this was for me. I was able to say no real quick, not entertain it, not give it any attention, keep my life force or my energy wrapped inside. And now that I'm on seed retention, it's just turning into OJAS. That's a whole nother story I could talk about OJAS, which is the life force. And then when you talk about semen retention, all the benefits that come with it go through the roof, you know, and it happens within the first like 10 weeks. Like it doesn't take no time if you're cleaned up, you know, but during that retention period, it helps you clean up. And that's just a whole nother topic, whole nother everything. But this was to answer someone's question about the benefits. I did a part one, part two now because it got cut off. I'll upload this. See you guys soon. Um, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>